Hello everyone and welcome back to the Code Academy HTML and CSS tutorials. My name is Caleb and today we're going to continue right where we left off on our HTML introductions. So if you're not already on CodeAcademy.com, go ahead and head over. We're doing HTML Basics 2 and we're going to be learning a little bit about styles. So let's go ahead and hit the drop down list. We just got done making the list and let's go on to styling the font. And let's go ahead and reset our code and here we go. So making comments, we've covered a lot about lists. Let's change gears and do some styling. If you recall, HTML is the skeleton of the web page, and CSS lets you give the skeleton some skin and makeup. But it's possible to do some inline CSS. This simply means we can do some styling in our own HTML file without worrying about the separate CSS file. We'll learn about this first because it will make learning CSS a lot easier later. Before we dive into fonts, it's important to learn about making comments. You can include little notes in your HTML code that the browser won't display, but it will be in the code to help you remember why you did a certain things. So the first instruction is to comment start with a greater than sign, an exclamation mark, and then two dashes, and then they end with two dashes and a less than sign, like this. So for example, this is an example of a comment right here. That's an example of a comment. Make the text on line 1 into a comment. Leave the text on line 3 alone. So if we look at line 3 we have a paragraph. Line 5 is an example of a comment and then line 1 just needs to be a comment so we just need to do our little magic here. Bam bam. <clears throat> As you can see since we did not in the comment, the rest of the whole page is still in a comment, so make sure you close your comment out like so. And now we see that it's back and we see our paragraph, but leave me visible to the user. So let's go ahead and save and submit our code. Way to go, let's start the next lesson. And let's reset our code. Here we go. Font size. Recall that paragraphs are opening and closing tags. We can give tags more instructions by including attributes into the opening tag. An attribute is simply a characteristic or some description for the content in the element. You saw this with the source attribute in the image tag and the href attribute in the anchor tag. Let's change the size of the text. Well, how do we do that? We use the style attribute. We make it equal to font size followed by a colon the size you want and end it with the px short for pixels for example we see in right here we see a paragraph and then we see a style attribute equal and then we're actually specifying what we want to edit or modify in this case we're using font dash size because we want to change the font size and then we're setting that instead of using an equal sign we're using a colon and then we're saying we want it to be set at 12 pixels so on line 7, make the text size 10 pixels. So if we go to line 7, what we want to do is click on the first opening paragraph tag. And now we want to add our style attribute by typing style equals, and then we want to make quotation marks. Now we're going to use our new font-size, and we're going to use colon, and we're going to make it 10, and then px for pixels, and that's that. So if we look over here, we see that some text for you make tiny. So right here we see that our text is pretty small because it's only set to 10 pixels. Now on line number 8 we're going to do the same exact thing by doing the style but this time instead of making the font size 10 pixels we're going to make it well 20. Who would have known? So now you see that our font size is now 20 pixels for the second. Now last but not least on the third on line number 9, we're going to do style once again, and we're going to do font-size, colon, and we're going to say, change our pixel size to 40 pixels. So now we have some super big text for you to make super big, and then we have some normal text, and then we have some super small text. So if you're having trouble with font sizes, reset your browser zoom by pressing Command-0 or Control-0. So, I mean, if you were to do that, we're back there, but let's go back right there that looks good for us alright and let's save and submit and we'll sweet way to go we get the green light and let's reset our code okay 
So now that we learned a little bit about font sizes, well now let's learn about font color. What is awesome about the style attribute is that we use it a lot. And we can use it with many different tags, not just the paragraph tag. Let's now change the colors of our text in a heading. To change the color of text, simply add the style attribute in the opening tag. Then make the style equal to color colon blue, or whatever color you like. For example, down below we see a heading 2 tag with a style attribute, and the color is going to be set to red. What if you want to change the color and the size of the text? Simple. You just add a semicolon between each bit. For example, down here we see a the header to tag again, we see a style attribute, we see color colon green, and then we see a semicolon because that's ending the first command, and then we see font size colon 12 pixels. A full list of available colors can be found here. And note, do not type something like H2, H2 style color green, font size 12 because that will not work because you're making two H2 elements, and that's, that's just not going to work. If you incorrectly nest your HTML tags like that, your code will not pass. Obviously, <laughs> change the heading color to green and its size to 16. So we see the big heading. What we need to do is make one style attribute and then equal then quotation marks. And the first thing it wants us to do is use our CSS and change the color. So we just can do color colon green. And spaces really don't matter but spelling does so there we go so color green and then make our semicolon and now we want to do font dash size and it wants this to be 16 pixels so there we go now change the color of the first paragraph to violet so we just make another inline style here and we're gonna say color colon and then violet and now we see a that a giant bear and a little duck were friends is now violet. Now number three says change the color of the second paragraph to red and that's font size to 10 pixels. So if we go to our second paragraph, add another inline style, color, oop, not color, but oop, color, and then we're gonna say red, and then now it changes red, and then we just do font dash size, don't forget your semicolon there guys, and then we're going to do 10 pixels as well. So, everything looks good. Hopefully everyone understood what we did there. Kind of went a little quick, but just to recap. H1 style, color, colon, green, semicolon, font dash size, colon, 16 pixels. Remember, any time that you're doing more than one um, style change in your inline style, for example, when we're changing the color and the font size, we're going to separate each command with a semicolon. And you could have hundreds of these. Or you can only have two of them. It doesn't matter. And then for the second paragraph, we just say color and then violet because we changed the style. And then for our third par or second paragraph, really, um, not, not first or third, but anyways, yeah, for our, our last paragraph down here, we just say style, color, colon, red, semicolon, font, dash, size, 10 pixels. And remember, you don't have to have spaces. You can have 100 spaces between here. You can have zero spaces or one space. As long as you have color, colon, red, the browser's not going to care how many spaces you have, or blank space, or whatever you want to call it, because it's just going to render and read the text. Okay, so everything looks good. Let's try and save and submit. Oops, we did not get it. Looks like your header's font size is 16.366 blah 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 instead of 16. Okay, so there's something wrong with our header. What is wrong with our header here? Change the heading color to green and its size is 16 pixels. Did we not change the 16 pixels? We did. And maybe if we do command 0 and then click it. Okay, so now, okay, so if you were to get that error, just reset with command zero. I zoom in just because we are, um, I'm at 110% here because I'm making the video. It's easier for you guys to see. But if you guys don't get the green light, just hit zoom out or hit command zero or control zero and get back to 
that way your text will be the right size as you saw mine was a little bit off because I was zoomed in so let's reset our code here and there we go so now we're gonna learn about font family we've covered font colors and font sizes but we want more power we want to decide what font type to use we can do this by using font-family like this. So as you can see, we see an H1 style again. And we see an H1 header, and then we see a style attribute. But this time, we're specifying the font-family colon, and then we're going to use the Arial font family. And we're going to say title. So title would be now an Arial instead of whatever it was before. So first, we wrote H1 big title H1. So you see that right here and you see that the font family is Arial. Then inside the opening h1 tag we added a style attribute and set it equal to the font family Arial which we see right here as you can see it's color coded in green. This style in the h1 tag with the Arial font. We can do the same for other tags so we could have a list item for example down here we have an li item style font family Arial hello okay so here's a list of available fonts if you want to click on it go check out all of the available fonts but we're not going to do that but feel free to go ahead and click that just so you can get acquainted with them so number one change the font size of the first list item li to 16 pixels and use the font Arial. so if we look in our text or in our html file our first list item is going to be this is a big Arial. so we're going to add an inline style by typing style equals in quotation marks. And now what we're going to say is font dash family colon, and then we're going to set it to Arial. Now add a semicolon, then font dash size colon, and it wants us to set it to 16 pixels. And as you can see, we see it. Now change the font size of the second listed item to 12 pixels and the font to Verdita. So go back here to our second one. Let's type in style again. Font-family. And it's going to be Verdana. And now you see that our text is already changed. And then we just do font-size. And we're changing it to 12 pixels. And it's a little bit smaller than the one above. Now it says change the font size of the third list item to 10 pixels and the font to impact. So let's go down here to our third list item. Do style. And now let's do font-family. And it's going to be impact. And then we're going to change the font-size. Also guys don't remember to put your semicolons at the end of each command and then put your uh, colons after each uh, thing right here so for example we're saying font size then colon instead of using the equal sign so now we're going to say 10 pixels for that and so as we can see that's really really small and it says make sure to capitalize the first letter of arrow verdana and impact that's shown which we've already done that if you guys haven't done that you guys should go back and redo that because you won't be able to pass and it doesn't matter which one you put first. For example, this one we put font family, Arial, then font size, and then we did font family, Verdana, and then we did the font size. It really doesn't matter. They're, it's all going to work. So let's try and save and submit our code. Oh, so we're still getting that error. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my thing to 100%. Now we got the green light. So way to go. And I'm going to zoom back in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to reset my code. <coughs> so recap. Awesome job. You've now got control of your web page, including the color, size, and type of your font. To recap, we can use the style attribute in the opening tag like so. Font-size, 14 pixels, color, orange, font family, Bodini. Now, below we see a paragraph. We see an inline style. We see the font size set to 14 pixels. We see the color, orange, and then we see the font family to Bodini. It's important to know that you can use the style attribute for paragraphs, headings, and even links. For the paragraph on line 7, make the font have a size of 20 pixels. So if we go here on line 7, add an inline style, and now what it says, it wants to do a font-size, 
and we want to set it to 20 pixels. Add a semicolon, change the color to blue, add another semicolon, and then change font dash family, and then we want to make it to Arial. So everything looks nice and pretty right there. Let me hit Command-0 again so we can zoom out and pass this one. So congratulations, we finished that. Congratulations, guys, you just earned another badge. And stay tuned for the next one. We get a little more nice styling, learn a little more CSS. If you like the video, make sure to thumbs it up. Comment, subscribe for more on future videos. Get stuck, drop a comment. I'll slide one back your way. Hopefully this stuff is helping you guys out. And I know we kind of went kind of quick. But, I mean, I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory when it comes to font sizes and um, everything that with the inline style. I mean, it's it's pretty simple, guys. I mean, if you just follow it from the text and follow from what I'm saying, I mean, yes, there are a lot of different attributes you can put in here. And we'll eventually cover all those, so just don't even worry about them right now. We're just taking it step by step, introducing one attribute, one font family, one font style, you know, one thing at a time. Move forward along, by the end of this course, you're going to be like, wow, I can create a pretty badass website. And I know a lot about HTML and CSS. And after this course, we're going to be doing some JavaScript, and then you'll be like, holy shit, I can do a lot. And then after that, you're going to have, like, websites that have all kinds of flying stuff, you know, with the jQuery and all kinds of cool stuff. So anyways, enough of that. Stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of good content coming. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a wonderful evening, everyone. It's, I'm Caleb, and you guys have a wonderful day. All right, see you later.